Brisbane while infected, coming into contact with lots of Queenslanders. Act of terror, an ISIS supporter shot dead on the Logan motorway, now linked to the murder of an elderly couple at Parkinson. Are there other victims? Fiji smashed by a monster cyclone, one of the strongest storms recorded in the Southern Hemisphere. The changing face of Brisbane City, the CBD's ugliest buildings torn down and the plans for a new Riverside precinct. And Aussie batsman flounder in the first test in Adelaide. Live from Brisbane, this is 7 News. Good evening. Queensland is on high alert tonight after a woman with COVID-19 flew into Brisbane, sparking alerts across the southeast. She's part of Sydney's Northern Beaches cluster that has exploded. 28 cases now linked to the outbreak. From Sydney's Northern Beaches to Brisbane, sparking a COVID alert and bringing the Premier back from holidays early. This is um, of concern. Um, when the New South Wales Premier says she's on high alert, we are on high alert. The woman in her 50s boarded Virgin Flight VA925 on Wednesday, arriving at 9.30am. She headed to lunch at the Glen Hotel at Eight Mile Plains before driving in a hire car for an overnight stay on the Sunshine Coast. After hearing about the Sydney outbreak, drove to the Prince Charles Hospital on Brisbane's north side, where she tested positive. She then drove back to New South Wales. Anyone who has attended the Glen Hotel after 11.30am on the 16th of December, if they develop any symptoms at all, should immediately get themselves tested. The Glen Hotel was notified this morning. It's closed today for a deep clean. The staff quarantined. I'm confident that we are broadly contact tracing and we will find anyone who is potentially at risk. Locations also visited Hertz car rental at Boondle twice, Hungry Jacks at Kiwana Waters, Coles Express Malulaba and the Sunshine Coast University Hospital. Christmas gatherings are not affected for now. It is very important that everyone is very conscious about what is happening and taking those extra precautions. But Sydney's Christmas plans are in chaos as the Northern Beaches COVID cluster spreads. The outbreak has grown to 28 with 10 new cases today. The peninsula from Palm Beach to the Spit now cut from the rest of the state. If we don't get on top of it in the next few days, it could mean further restrictions. The list of venues across Greater Sydney visited by positive cases continues to grow. The public transport network also affected. Concerns the source could be Australian flight crews that are allowed to return to their homes and self-isolate between flights. A trust system. Those rules will now be tightened. And over the course of the COVID-19 pandemic, New South Wales have demonstrated uh, an extraordinary capacity to deal with these challenges and I retain full confidence in their ability to do that. Contact tracing facing its toughest test. The search is still on for patient zero. And from one o'clock tomorrow morning, there will be border restrictions applying here in Queensland. Anyone who has been to one of those northern beaches hotspots and takes a flight into Queensland will have to quarantine for 14 days. It will be in a hotel and it will be at their own expense. Tonight here at Brisbane Airport, it is very busy as people clamour to get to the Sunshine State for Christmas. It has been a very hectic day for travel in Sydney. At Sydney Airport this morning, long lines and broken hearts. On a day, thousands were taking flight to escape the COVID chaos. Very angry because we're very cautious. I'm a health worker. I do what I need to do. Fighting tears in a race back to WA. We know we're near the cluster. He always closes the border, so I don't know. It's annoying. This family down for their grandmother's funeral, it now cancelled. Arrived uh, last night uh, from Gold Coast, uh, got to a hotel and then found out the news. Um, and then from there we worked out that we need to get back as quickly as we could. Others holiday bound and taking no chances. I'd rather be safe than sorry and I really don't want to get COVID. Airlines are offering credits for cancellations or fee-free changes. Virgin until the end of January, Qantas until the end of March. Some 
never got the chance. Unfortunately, while your aircraft has been in the air, there's been some changes to our legislation here in WA in relation to quarantining. Quarantine conditions announced on this Jetstar flight halfway to Perth. For them to change the guidelines when we're mid-flight, right, if I'd have known about it, wouldn't have come. The Premier pleading with her counterparts for a proportionate response. Many people, after months of absolute uh, torture, for want of a better term, have been separated from loved ones. But around the country, the not welcome sign was going up. So this is the state of play around the country tonight. Queensland declaring the northern beaches a hotspot. From midnight tonight, it's straight to two weeks hotel quarantine at your own expense. Victoria has introduced travel permits for all New South Wales residents and anyone who was on the northern beaches from last Friday will not get one. Already there? Well, you're ordered into 14 days of quarantine. Similar for Tasmania. No entry. And anyone there now, 14 days. From the Northern Territory, don't go. But those who have to, 14 days hotel quarantine at $2,500 per person. South Australia will reintroduce its border applications process, but barring anyone who is in the Northern Beaches venues themselves. And for Western Australia, well, they've ordered 14 days of self-quarantine for all arrivals in suitable premises. Chris Reason, 7 News. The murder of an innocent elderly couple in their Brisbane home is being treated as an act of terror. Senior police say the pair were targeted at random by a radicalised ISIS supporter before he was shot dead on the Logan motorway. A major terror investigation in the most unlikely of places. This is a very real example of the fact that a terrorism can happen uh, in many different ways. Inside this Parkinson home, police were met with the unthinkable. Two deceased persons uh, were discovered. Zoe and Maurice Antle, a couple in their 80s, police suspect were the innocent and random victims of a brutal stabbing attack at the hands of Rage Abdi. There was uh, an item located with Mr Abdi that we believe has come from the address of the deceased uh, elderly couple. A knife that he was carrying as he walked along the Logan motorway early Thursday morning before allegedly lunging at police, yelling Allah Akbar. The officers opened fire. Abdi was hit a number of times and died. I watched the, the body-worn camera. Uh, I don't think they had a choice. The 22-year-old's father, Mohammed, disagrees. I believe it was a trigger-happy action. My son needed help when he was there. And the help he got was to get shot. Abdi is no stranger to police. In May 2019, he was arrested at Brisbane International Airport with a one-way ticket to Somalia. The information that was available to us was he was intending to travel to Somalia to, to seek to join and fight with um, Al-Shabaab. Abdi has never been charged with terror-related offences, but he was on bail for other charges and required to wear a GPS tracker. Abdi cut off his GPS tracker around 3.30 on Wednesday afternoon. At 4.30, police went to his Kalambal home and spoke with his father, but Abdi wasn't there. At 8.30, they returned, but still he couldn't be found. Then his tracker began pinging in bushland at Parkinson, near the Antil's home. Neighbours say they heard a bang around 8 o'clock on Wednesday night, and then the next day, the Antil's dog Penny was barking in the window. That's when a blue care worker arrived to do a welfare check and raised the alarm with police. My son was a very peaceful uh, minded person. He has never put his hand on anybody in, in his life. Perhaps until now. Police say while this is being treated as a terrorism event, they don't believe there's any ongoing threat or that Ragi was working with anyone else. However, they do fear there may be more victims that are yet to be discovered. Police have been door knocking homes in this nearby area and are calling for anybody who has any family or friends living in the Parkinson area to give their loved ones a call and make sure they're OK. Let's hope they are. Mackenzie, thank you. Beaches have started opening up on the Gold Coast following this week's wild weather. The first to open between Burley and Southport. Those down the southern end taking longer to clean up following yesterday's flash flooding.
The mops are out, brooms getting a workout, damage being surveyed. We've probably lost a few fridges. Yesterday's flash flood came without warning, inundating this Talabudra restaurant in the blink of an eye. The cleanup will take much longer. It rose five centimetres in four minutes. Probably yeah. about 20 to 30 mm. centimetres, like through the whole entire restaurant. The coastline lost more. The wild storm further carved out the fragile dunes and dumped huge logs and sticks onto the sand, to the delight of these children. Like sticks that we can make in a hut and a garden. If you can't swim, like, make the most of what you've got. Beaches on the southern Gold Coast remained closed today. Burley to Southport reopened. Those brave enough to overlook the murky conditions have the water to themselves. There's still some current and there's still visibility problems, but look, the swell is settling down. Heavy machinery has been removing debris from the beaches daily, but the high tides keep washing more to shore faster than it can be collected, a cycle that will continue until the water clears. The floodwaters are now receding. Purling Brook Falls is gushing. This onlooker risking it all, jumping a barrier to have a look. From a safer place, spectators marvelled at a roaring Hins Dam, now at over 100% capacity. It's awesome. It's, and the noise is just wonderful. Tops our water up for another Mama, good six months now. Or more. On the Gold Coast, Kate Ryan, 7 News. Now to Paul Burt. And Bertie, any more showers on the way? Joel, it's looking OK at the moment. We're going to see a couple of sprinkles over the weekend, particularly around the Gold Coast border region, southern Bayside area. But here on the Gold Coast at the moment, looking absolutely splendid. Beaches have reopened and the beaches are looking quite good. We've got the volleyballers out there, a few of the kids playing as well. But it's those corners and groins, seeing a lot of sticks and trees still about, obviously getting cleaned up at the moment. Let's take a look at today's temperatures. Gee, got humid as well, particularly as the sun come out after lunchtime. Upwards of 33 for Ipswich, 30 in the city, 29 Logan and 28 degrees at coastal regions. So it looks as though the sun Sunshine Coast will be a, a much more dry spot over the weekend. I'll have more weather for you shortly. Thanks, Bertie. As diplomatic tensions between China and Australia reach boiling point, the Prime Minister has announced a new Trade Minister. Dan Tian will take the role from next week in a reshuffle that also sees the heavily criticised Richard Colbeck stripped of part of his aged care portfolio. Not wanting the cobwebs to grow, but not big change either. In a time of great uncertainty, stability and consistency is very much what is needed. A reshuffle forced by the departure of Matthias Cormann, his finance portfolio already taken by Senator Simon Birmingham. The big winners, Victorians, Dan Tian taking over trade to handle growing tensions with China, and Alan Tudge elevated to education despite controversy over his extramarital affair with the staffer. What has impressed me about Alan is he's, he's dealt with these issues honestly. Alex Hawke has promoted to immigration with new junior ministers, WAMP Andrew Hastie, Assistant Defence, and Queen and Senator Amanda Stoker, Assistant Attorney General. The biggest loser, Richard Colbeck, after the embarrassment of not knowing how many residents died of COVID in federal aged care facilities, his role is downgraded to aged care services with primary responsibility handed to Health Minister Greg Hunt. Scott Morrison says it's not about demoting Senator Colbeck. This is about elevating aged care into the Cabinet. Anthony Albanese will reshuffle the opposition front bench in the new year. Labor says Scott Morrison has missed a chance to get rid of some dead wood. One matter is completely clear. For the Prime Minister, if you can't do your job, then you will definitely keep it. Mark Riley, 7 News. A Townsville man accused of piloting a plane from Melbourne laden with drugs and cash has been released on bail. Mark Nolan is facing 11 charges, including trafficking, as part of an alleged transnational syndicate. Police intercepted the aircraft at Redcliffe Airport, finding a million dollars in cash and $3.5 million worth of cannabis on board. His lawyer says the former soldier was the pilot and nothing more. His case will return to court next year. America is tonight poised to approve its second COVID vaccine. The Moderna shot now one step away from joining Pfizer and rolling out across a country where the death toll is soaring. 3,600 people dead in one day. A second green light. It looks like we have a favourable vote.
Moderna set to expand America's vaccine reach following in Pfizer's footsteps after receiving independent recommendation. It looks to be roughly 95% effective at preventing disease, including 100% effective at severe disease, about 95% effective in preventing disease in people who are over 65. Final Food and Drug Administration approval expected tomorrow. Six million doses ready for shipping as America buckles. Another horrific daily death record, COVID-19 claiming 3,611 American lives just yesterday. There's so much stress on us, nurses and physicians and all the healthcare workers. Southern California tonight at tipping point, intensive care units at capacity, zero beds left in a region of 23 million people as a predicted holiday infection surge looms. Now is not the time to say, you know, I'm just so tired of all of this, I'm just going to do whatever I want to do. That would only make matters worse. The president out of sight as his deputy prepares to roll up his sleeve. Mike Pence will be vaccinated live tomorrow morning in a televised symbol of reassurance for a nervous nation. In the United States, David Woywood, 7 News. Former Australian Governor-General Michael Jeffrey has died at the age of 83. Major General Jeffrey saw military service in Southeast Asia, commanded the SAS, became Governor of Western Australia and in 2003 became Australia's 24th Governor-General. He was hailed by the Prime Minister today as one of Australia's finest leaders and is survived by his wife Marlena. Melbourne could be in for a double treat with the MCG now a potential alternative venue if the COVID outbreak forces the cancellation of the test in Sydney. That means the MCG's new anti-coronavirus measures will be under scrutiny for the traditional Boxing Day test. Just 30,000 people allowed, but still... Pure excitement. You know, we can't wait to have people back. It's been a long time. It's been a long winter. It'll be so different. The ground divided into five separate zones. Patrons confined to their zone all day by temporary fencing. They're designed so that people can't cross between different zones to ensure that from a contact tracing point of view, we know where people have been within the venue. Socially distant queues out the front, messages and sanitizers everywhere. We've got over 270 sanitising stations around the ground at such a big venue. All food and drink must be consumed at seats. And that means, at least temporarily, the end of a controversial and long-established rule. For the first time in generations, MCC members will be able to bring alcoholic drinks to their seats and partake as they watch the game. Experts say the new outbreak puts the Sydney test in doubt. If you start seeing cases come up in the Sydney area and you want the India team to be able to leave <laughs> Sydney again, then you're going to have to look at that. And for the small crowd, a message from a big crowd favourite. We don't want 30,000 quiet people. We want 30,000 very loud people at the MCG supporting Australia this Boxing Day. Nick McCallum, 7 News. It's amazing she wasn't killed. Watch as a motorcyclist comes off second best in a run-in with an impatient driver. Fiji battered by one of the strongest storms ever recorded in the Southern Hemisphere. An extremely lucky truck driver, after a load, slices his cabin apart. And before weather, you can find beer on tap, but how about milk? Well, we'll tell you where. with us to a whole new world. Ooh, I love field trips. Where are we going? All you have to do is believe. This is it. Don't get scared now. <gasps> Surf's up, dude! A world beyond your wildest dreams. That's the magic Seven Flicks brings. <gasps> really? Hit it! All your fave family picks are on Seven Flicks. Prepare to fear me! Holy... Do you feel the call? Black Opium, the Eau de Parfum, Yves Saint Laurent. Discover your signature scent. I am my store. Last minute Christmas gifts on sale now at Super Cheap Auto. Like this electric drift cart, $399. Plus get 40% off these Penrite full synthetic engine oils. And you can always grab a gift card. It's Christmas made easy. <laughs>
fantasize about this back in Chicago. Your spare pair. Your new style of hair pair. The flying through the air pair. We could all use a second pair. <laughs> At Specsavers, get two designer pairs, no gap, from the $199 single vision range when you're with selected health funds. Gippsland Dairy Yogurt. The taste made me do it. With a unique, all-inclusive guarantee that covers the frame, fabric, cushions, everything, this Amart sofa is built to survive anything. Almost anything. Amart furniture. It just makes sense. Lift him up. Show him. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love this part. It's OK. Now go around. Grandpa taught me this. Go for the tail. Yes! Got it! 35 years of Super Mario. Only on Nintendo Switch. New mini hotcakes with Nutella have arrived at Macca's. Our famous hotcakes made mini with a delicious layer of creamy Nutella. Wherever summer takes you, we'll be here. Imagine where you'd go if nothing stood in your way. The BMW X1 S Drive 18i. 149 per week at 4.99% per annum. Business customers only. Search BMW X1. Here's the moment, a terrible moment. A driver collided with a motorcyclist at an intersection in South Australia. The 25-year-old female rider is sent flying through the air. Miraculously, she survived, receiving only injuries to her legs. The 65-year-old male driver has been fined for failing to give way. The Pacific Island nation of Fiji has been battered by one of the strongest storms ever recorded in the Southern Hemisphere. So far, two people have been killed by tropical cyclone Yasa, including a three-month-old baby. A drive-by of destruction. Panels ripped from buildings, debris littering the street. This is from the town of Lambasa. Elsewhere across Fiji, grim pictures are emerging of homes and villages flattened. Tropical cyclone Yasa passed between Fiji's two main islands last night as a Category 5 system, with wind gusts up to 345 kilometres an hour. Stronger even than tropical cyclone Winston, which smashed the nation in 2016, killing 44 people. Yasa isn't just delivering damaging winds, but heavy rain, flash flooding and huge waves. We have about 23,431 Fijians in the evacuation centre across Fiji. Commenting on the storm's severity, Fiji's Prime Minister tweeted, this is not normal, this is a climate emergency. We will continue to assess the scale of damages in the coming days, but we are likely looking at hundreds of millions of dollars in damages. Yasa is weakening as it moves southeast, now tracking towards Tonga. In its wake, some hope. Junior rugby going ahead in flooded fields, a triumph of the human spirit, no matter the final score. Laura Dimmick, 7 News. Several European leaders have gone into isolation after the French president tested positive to COVID-19. Emmanuel Macron appeared online to confirm he'd continue working, but his diagnosis has kicked off a high-profile race for contact traces. Macron attended an EU summit in Brussels last week where he says he was very likely infected. There was also a conference in Paris and multiple meetings. Several prime ministers, including Portugal's and Spain's, have gone into self-isolation. A sudden break has left this driver trapped in his cabin, cabin shaved clean off the truck. He'd hit the emergency skids at a traffic light when the steel sheet he was carrying shifted, slicing the cabin clean off. Police say the truckie's seatbelt kept him safely inside the cabin until they could free him. Brisbane's city skyline is changing fast. Next, the end comes for Brisbane's ugliest building, plus promises of a new era by the river. Remembering pioneering Gold Coast real estate agent Max Christmas, dead at 81. New charges decades after a plane disaster that shocked the world. 
And after sport, the simple device preventing deaths from heart attack and stroke. He's played Tiger Woods in the Australian Masters. Would have topped this moment? No, not even close. She's travelled the pro circuit around the world. That won't help her here. Oh! Some of the country's most talented players yeah, she does it. will battle it out for glory. Oh, no. His boys suffered on that pole. The greatest championship course on the planet. Holy moly! Extreme Family Fun is here in 2021. In the morning, in making a movie, you get up real early. So you need all the, all the help you can get. Most of my scripts have coffee stains on them. That's how you know it's a Pacino script. This is a good coffee. Introducing Vittoria Coffee's new range of aluminium capsules. 18 locally roasted blends and single origins designed to fit your Nespresso machine. We're announcing something big. The big deal is now on at Mazda, and we're putting value on 2020 plate vehicles front and centre, like run-out CX-3 Neo Sport from 24990 Drive Away. Search Mazda offers today. Celebrate the holidays with C. Giorgio Armani. Discover your signature scent. I am my store. Ah, little Bella's home with a newfound friend. <gasps> Luckily, with Pino Clean Laundry Sanitizer, it doesn't matter where that's been. Because unlike detergent alone, which doesn't get rid of all germs, it removes 99.9% .9 of bacteria. It's not clean unless it's Pino Clean. I had this idea of a perfect life. I got a feeling your daughter is hiding something. Why were you there that night? Todd's Hi-Fi Summer Sale. Save on LG OLED, Samsung QLED. 4K projectors, turntables, soundbars, wireless audio. Big brand speakers and subs up to 50% off. This summer, visit our amazing Tingalpa showroom. Summer Sale on now. Autobahn has hundreds of Christmas gifts for car lovers. Our new limited edition range of neon green garage equipment includes these two-ton ratchet axle stands for just $59.99. And this Gulf Western premium gold engine oil is less than half price at $9.99. Only at Autobahn. If you can't decide upon a Christmas gift to choose A BCF in gift card is the gift that cannot lose Cos buying cards for gifting is BCF in fun Hey! Hi, can I get two Big Mac meals please? And would you like $10,000 with that? Spend $10 for your chance to win $10,000 at Maccas With 10 winners every day throughout December Brisbane skyline is getting a shake-up. Two projects are changing the shape of our city. One's adding, the other has taken buildings away. It's been called ugly, dubbed an eyesore, but it's the end of the line for the Brisbane Transit Centre. It's finally disappeared from our skyline. Not a single person who will... Uh... Uh, who will be sad about the demise of the ugliest building in Brisbane. Three buildings were demolished over one year, making way for the Queensland Government's Cross River Rail project. There's been 104,000 tonnes of concrete removed, uh, something like 5,500 tonnes of steel. Work will soon begin on the new Roma Street station, transporting the city into a new era of travel. What we'll see uh, next year is uh, the, the tunnel boring machine start. What we'll also see changes soon at Eagle Street Pier as part of a $2.1 billion makeover. It's just been given council approval. I think Brisbane's going through a fantastic transformation. We've got so many uh, changes to the city. Two new towers with 43 and 49 floors of commercial space. The project adding another riverside destination with a waterfront dining hub. A hectare of open space, new widened river walk, retail amenity and, and two new towers. The current Eagle Street Pier Precinct will continue to trade right up until construction begins in 2022. The retail upgrade will take two years. The first tower will be complete in 2026. Amelia Radham, 7 News.
One of the world's longest and most extensive terror investigations is on the verge of a breakthrough. US prosecutors are expected to charge a new suspect over the 1988 Lockerbie bombing, a move welcomed by victims' families. Four days before Christmas 1988, less than an hour after takeoff, Pan Am Flight 103 bound for New York exploded over Scotland. The attack killed all 259 people on board, another 11 in the town of Lockerbie below. Now American prosecutors plan to charge the man they believe made the suitcase bomb that blew up the 747. Abu Aguila Mohammed Massoud, seen here in Libya. It obviously wasn't carried out by any one individual. It was a team and indeed from several countries that were ultimately involved in it. But so far, only one man has ever been convicted of the crime. Libyan intelligence officer Abdel Basset al-Magrahi. He died in 2012 with his family still fighting now to clear his name. Monday marks the 32nd anniversary of the bombing, which remains the deadliest terror attack in British history. Relatives of the victims say they hope any fresh charges will lead to the truth. What does our government and the American government really know about who is responsible for murdering them? The charges are expected within days. In London, Sarah Greenolch, Seven News. Tributes are pouring in tonight after the death of a legend of Queensland's real estate industry. Max Christmas died of suspected heart problems at his Surfers Paradise home this morning, aged 81. The famed real estate agent credited for helping create the Gold Coast as we know it. He was the Gold Coast's Mr Real Estate. The final call, $2,950,000, I passed the property in. Snapping up buyers. Once you put them in a plane and they look down, it. They'd buy. But Max Christmas, one of the pioneers of the Gold Coast real estate boom, has made his last sale. I was very sad to hear of Mr Christmas's death. He's contributed a great deal to the community. One of the last of the Glitter Strip's famed white shoe brigade. Really, the government at the time was very keen on development. Opening his own real estate agency in 1971. It was an era where they dreamed big and no one did it bigger than Max Christmas. Growing investment from Hong Kong, China, and Japan in the 80s and 90s. Billions of property transactions followed the Sheraton Mirage, Royal Pines, Sanctuary Cove and SeaWorld, just to name a few. He was an ideas person. Uh, he always thought them through, but he was not too uh, frightened to take a risk. In 1990, he even tried to buy the 4X brewery from Alan Bond. We are Queenslanders. We're there, we've got the money. He was awarded an Order of Australia, served as a Gold Coast councillor and was honoured as one of 150 people who helped shape the state. As recently as a week ago, he's still sending me correspondence saying, well, this is what you need to do for tourism. All our people under 30 years of age are golden opportunity to grab the reins and take this city forward. A city he spent a lifetime selling. Patrick Lyon, 7 News. No doubt it's been a very tough year for the Year 12 class of 2020. ATAR scores are about to be released. Advice for those applying for university. So Donald Bradman's baggy green goes under the hammer. What was the highest bid? Wouldn't it be nice? The McGregor Uni student, the South East's newest millionaire. And later, the Warner home competing in the 4KQ Christmas lights competition. Should it earn your vote? with all your favourite carols and stars. Even Robbie Williams and The Wiggles. Join us for a carols like never before. It'll be a spectacular night. Woolworths Carols in the Domain, Wednesday 7.30 on 7. Who will you make happy today? La Vie est Belle, the iconic fragrance. Local. Discover your signature scent. I am my store. He did promise to keep a company. Is it rude to wake him? Maybe. Thank you, Roads of Australia. The Toyota RAV4, the return of recreation. Oh, what a feeling. Toyota.
Watch what I do. Watch what I do. The Queensland Government is growing our regions with support for tourism, agriculture and mining. Search Queensland Budget to find out what it means for you. Authorised by the Queensland Government, Brisbane. Want soft, beautiful feet? Try Shoal from Chemist Warehouse. The extra coarse roller head provides effective gentle exfoliation, removing very hard skin. The Shoal Velvet Smooth Electronic Foot Care System is $25.99. Live, look, feel well at Chemist Warehouse. Harvey Norman, home for Christmas. Save $500 on the Samsung 75-inch 4K UHD Smart TV. Now only $1,795. And for the big sound to go with your big TV, get the Samsung T550 soundbar and receive a $300 Harvey Norman gift card. Plus, get it on 60 months interest-free and get a bonus gift card up to $500. That's right, save $500 on this Samsung Smart TV at Harvey Norman, your king-size TV specialists. Go! The stylish Havel H2, a globally engineered, European designed and feature packed SUV. From just 22,990 drive away, Havel H2 Auto, go with more. This Christmas, share tasty 100% Australian fresh large cooked tiger prawns. Perfect for entertaining. Now just $27 a kilo, save $3 a kilo. Helping you share the spirit of Christmas. Woolworths. To finance now and the Australian share market tumbled more than 1% with news of a growing COVID cluster in New South Wales. The ASX 200 dropped 81 points. Travel stocks suffered the most with Qantas diving 3.5% down 18 cents. A2 Milk fell $3 after slashing its earnings guidance. The Australian dollar is buying 75 US cents and $1.06 New Zealand. And fuel is entering the expensive phase of the price cycle. Drivers should fill up now while cheap fuel is still available the average cost of unleaded petrol is a dollar 33 in brisbane Bidding for Sir Donald Bradman's first baggy green cap failed to meet expectations last night. It was hoped to fetch between $1 and $2 million, but last night's final bid of $391,500 was well short. The cap is captured under the Cultural Heritage Act, meaning it must remain in Australia. They're the students who navigated their way through a new curriculum in the middle of a pandemic. Now the class of 2020 are preparing to see just how well they went. ATAR scores are released tomorrow and nervous Year 12s are counting down the hours. Gabby Wade spent hours studying, days learning in the classroom and from the living room. In a school year like no other, her hard work will come down to one number. I can't really avoid it right now because it's tomorrow. She's hoping to study environmental science at the University of Queensland. Fingers crossed that I do my best and I get the best ATAR I can get and then hopefully then that will get me into the course I want to do. Tomorrow, the first year level to take external ATAR exams will receive their rank, a number between 0 and 99.95. The move from OP to ATAR hasn't been easy, made harder by a global health crisis. Everyone's in the same boat, like we're all in the first year together, so no one can say like they're different because we're all like suffering. And for a few more hours, the stress will continue. More than 37,000 school leavers have an anxious night ahead. Results will be released at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. And for those who might not get what they'd hoped for... I think the really important message is this number does not define you, it does not define your future. It's very much just one part of a, a larger picture about what kind of pathways you can take. We didn't really know what to expect. After a year of surprises, hopefully it's good news. Georgia Terry, 7 News. A university student in his 20s says he'll retire after winning last night's entire $20 million Powerball jackpot. The young man from McGregor wants to remain anonymous. He says he's never going to work again, but will treat his family and friends. It's Australia's leading cause of death. Coming up, the new device detecting heart disease well before symptoms appear. And forget beer, where you can find fresh milk on tap. Those details soon on 7 News.
Sport now, Pat, we're seeing golf's new superstar emerge. Yes, maybe Joel. He's got a great swing, but probably he should. He's the son of Tiger. That's coming up in sport. The pressure becoming crushing for Queenslander Joe Burns. Out of the bonsai pipeline, a couple of Aussies have stolen the show. There, Mark. Hey, nobody likes a backseat sleigh driver. Q2 stop bickering and take a look at Brizzy. Our 4KQ Christmas Lights competitors have really turned it on this year. The 4KQ Christmas Lights competition is a little different this year. We're asking you, the people of Brisbane, to be the judges. Watch 7 News nightly at 6 as we showcase the best and brightest displays this festive season. Head to the 4KQ website to place your vote. 4KQ Christmas Lights proudly supported by 7 News. outrageously beautiful. It's like some space landscape. Just amazing. Ta -da. Ta -da. <laughs> Create your own escape. Every weekend on 7-2. And escape anytime with 7+. Harvey Norman, home for Christmas with the best gift ideas. This Lavazza Emoto Mio Snake Capsule Coffee Machine, only $349. Get $50 cash back on this Philips Twin Turbo Star Digital Air Fryer. The Remington Rapid Cut Turbo for quick and easy grooming, only $77. New from Hermetics, the Select Plus Percussion Massager, only $149. Or they'll love this Dyson Supersonic Gift Edition. Much more in store and online. Plus get 60 months interest free with a bonus gift card. Now at Harvey Norman. Bring on the moments you can't wrap and the prezzies you can with thousands of gifts under $30. Big W. Every day's a big day. Is frequent heartburn interrupting your life, causing you to reach for short-term relief over and over again? There is a better way. Unlike antacids that often require multiple doses per day, Nexium 24 Hour provides longer lasting protection from frequent heartburn with just one tablet a day. Nexium 24 Hour provides round the clock protection. Live life less interrupted. Get Nexium 24 Hour for a great price at Chemist Warehouse. Rachel came to university just hungry to learn about marine science. At Griffith University, we get students out of the classroom and into the field. As a lecturer, the best part of my job is teaching students like Rachel. Bring on the big moments that light up their little faces with big brands at prices you'll love like Lego, Barbie, Sony and Nintendo. Big W. Every day's a big day. Check it out. Uh, yeah, yeah. Baby, gonna let you in. Karcher Window Vac. Simply spray, wipe and vacuum. The quick way to streak-free windows. Special black edition available at Bunnings Warehouse. Bring on Christmas. You can shop safely in-store and online with contactless pickup and home delivery. Big W. Every day's a big day. Gold Lotto's $30 million mega draw is on Saturday the 2nd of January. Grab an entry today for a chance to make your own mega memories. Wouldn't it be nice? This sport report proudly brought to you by Audi. Joe Burns has failed to take advantage of his test reprieve out for just eight in a faltering Australian first innings in Adelaide. Chasing India's modest 244, Labashain rode his luck, but every Aussie batsman struggled against the pink ball. Perched on the precipice at three for 100, Coley and his trusted deputy pushed back. An 88-run stand. He has got enough on it. Then disaster. 151 tests between them. This was schoolboy stuff. Oh, what a way for this partnership to end. The Aussies could scarcely believe their luck. The King toppled for 74. He brooded back in the dugout as two more fell before stumps to an attack which is sharpening its claws. I don't think we can settle here. I think we can keep pushing the boundaries and, and keep getting better as a bowling group. The pace cartel obviously relished the flattery. It's taken by Payne. 
Ashwin gone, Saha threw his wicket away. Another one falls. The tourists lost four for 11, Cummins and Stark with seven scalps between them. India's total a disappointing 244. This group had picked the right time to take the tour. Burns emerged under pressure and under fire. Ouch. That was vicious. Wade's defiance lasted 61 balls. Long way back and he's not a big man and up goes the finger. A couple of Queenslanders united without exuding confidence. Didn't carry. Replays showed otherwise. Luck for Labashane, but she refused to smile on Joe Burns. Big shout. Given. Even technology is conspiring against Burns. He remains on a tight rope. Two for 29. India could only blame themselves for not getting Labashane on the stroke of dinner. No, no, no. Jasper Bumra had a real play on that ball. It became embarrassing. Both Labashane and Smith dropped in the one Boomer over, but Ashwin, in his first over, atoned for a multitude of sins. Yeah! Smith's gone this time, off the edge. Head followed for just seven. Ashwin in the groove, a strider on the ropes. Cam Green arrived for his big moment, but left quickly for 11. Ashwin had three. The Aussies were being exposed by spin and pace. And Cricket Australia has reacted quickly to the COVID cluster in Sydney, ordering the heat into their BBL hub early. It means Brisbane's players won't get match practice with their clubs this weekend before BBL duties resume. It's disappointing for all-rounder Jack Wildermuth, who's in rare form with the Willow. A few years, but I guess yeah, I feel like I'm maturing as a batsman, and um, I think those, that confidence level is really, really starting to come up. And... You know, I'll have good opportunity with the heat over the next 12 games to hopefully put some numbers on the board. Brisbane hosts the Strikers next Wednesday at the Gabba, alive here on 7. He's taken plenty of hits in 2020, but be assured, Brodie Croft hasn't lost faith in his ability or desire to be the Broncos' general. Brought to Brisbane by Anthony Seabold to lead, the 23-year-olds denied expectations were too much. Round eight, one of the lowest points in a proud club's history. Players crying, Croft included, was it a hint of a broken young footballer? I see you say from the outside in, but from the inside out, I didn't really feel that way. Um, I was confident in my own ability. I still am confident in my own ability. I haven't lost faith in myself and what I'm capable of doing on the football field. Only 22 at the time, he'd been asked to captain the NRL's most scrutinised side when in crisis. His own game fell victim. A few things there that I probably wasn't doing so well and I know that myself and I've been simplifying and like I said earlier, kevy has been great for that, simplifying the game, stripping it right back to basics. I haven't lost faith in, in leading this team around the field on a footy field. He'll tackle another role first. Fiance Safina Bucks is due with a baby boy any day now. Now. I've been reading the books and, and yeah, probably the best advice I've heard is that no advice is that, is that great. In the north, Todd Payton's regime is in full swing. Footies are out, team bonding's in for a three-day pre-season camp. And the Lions' next injury project, Nakaya Cockatoos, arrived in Brisbane from Geelong. The ex-cat who went pick 10 in the 2014 drafts managed just two matches in three seasons. He's hoping Brisbane will change that. Just sort of a new sort of look on on my footy career as well, you know, like, you know, I've been injured here and there. And... Jessica Stewart, 7 News. An injured Julian Wilson has made an early exit as the Pipeline Masters yeah, finally resumed. But fellow Queenslander Jack Freestone was sensational in the bonsai barrels and he was keen to influence officials. If the judges knew how hard this is to do, they're going to give me a 10 right here. WA rookie Jack Robinson was also brilliant, the highest heat score of the day. He meets the 11-time world champ in the round of 16. Kelly Slater took some heavy hits before beating Aussie Ethan Ewing. I haven't even surfed pipe this year at all. Um, so she had to give me a little slap around the ears. <laughs> Slater quickly recovered to win through. Only three Aussies remain. Tiger Woods and his 11-year-old son Charlie have the sporting world buzzing after their appearance side by side on the practice range in Florida this morning, showing off near identical golf swings. They're preparing for this week's PNC Championship, an event with 20 major champions paired with a family member. Tiger clearly believes Charlie is ready for the limelight. With a swing to be very jealous of. He's got big shoes to fill. Doesn't Hasn't he? he ever. Thanks, Paddy. <laughs> There's new hope for sufferers of cardiovascular disease, a condition that kills one Australian every 12 minutes. A new medical research facility is behind an Australian first, a potentially life-saving medical technology. Leading the way in robotics, a new state-of-the-art facility at Sydney's Ingham Institute for Applied Medical Research, the first of its kind in Australasia.
we open our doors to um, new technologies that are being proposed. Their latest success, the Samsung S-Patch. It collects electrocardiogram data from stroke patients, analysed instantly by artificial intelligence to detect abnormal heart rate. And that carries a very high stroke risk and needs a different treatment to stop strokes from happening. The Institute put the technology to the test with 51 stroke patients, including Michael Buter, who suffered a stroke two years ago, aged 44. They trialled the existing monitoring machine against the S-patch, which is easier for patients to wear 24-7. There's no disconnecting or connecting, it's just always on you. The older machine finding one patient with an abnormality, the S-patch, detected seven. So that's six additional patients that had this high risk for further stroke and needed a different form of treatment. The technology is also being rolled out at other hospitals across southwestern Sydney. And with further research, it's hoped it can soon be used to diagnose and treat patients suffering other cardiovascular conditions. We're trying to be a world leader in terms of research in stroke in robotics. Amber Laidler, 7 News. Miss the days of milk delivered in a bottle? A blast from the past, not only in bottles but on tap. The new initiative supporting a local dairy. And looks as though we're in for a pretty good start to the weekend. All your weather details and my outside report after the break. Celebrate the holidays with C. Giorgio Armani. Discover your signature scent. I am my store. Get on Santa's sporty list with a gift from Rebel. Like the Tuwali Rugged Beach Cart, now $99.99, save 60. Or give the gift of choice with a Rebel gift card. Sporty gifts too good to resist, even for me. Shop in store or online at rebelsport.com. With a unique, all-inclusive guarantee that covers the frame, fabric, cushions, everything. This Amart sofa is built to survive anything. Almost anything. Amart furniture. It just makes sense. The Pope Auto Wind Hose Reel has an industry leading rewind system, a stop and go action, a 180 degree swivel, and a 10 year hose warranty. So no more messy backyards. Pope. Smoother. Safer. Better. Hey. Nina, there's more where that came from. I'm filled with hair, soap and dirt you can't reach. New Easy Off Drain Turbo Gel's powerful formula quickly powers through tough clogs and eliminates odors. New Easy Off Drain Turbo Gel. Irresistibly smooth chocolate. Made to melt you. Lindor by the Lindt Master Chocolatier. In the morning, in making a movie, you get up real early. So you need all the, all the help you can get. Most of my scripts have coffee stains on them. That's how you know it's a Pacino script. This is a good coffee. Introducing Vittoria Coffee's new range of aluminium capsules. 18 locally roasted blends and single origins designed to fit your Nespresso machine. We're announcing something big. The big deal is now on at Mazda, and we're putting value on 2020 plate vehicles front and centre, like CX-5 Max from 32990 Drive Away. Search Mazda offers today. Spotlight, save more at our Christmas sale with 50% off O'Reilly Roller Blinds. Save a massive 50% off all day-night roller blinds and 30 to 60% off all eyelid curtains. So create it, decorate it and celebrate it for less. Sale on now. At Spotlight, it's what you make it. Santa to hotel quarantine. This year, don't risk your Christmas gifts not arriving on time. Choose Chemist Warehouse Fast Delivery and have your gifts delivered within three hours. Guarantee the joy won't be quarantined this Christmas with Fast Delivery from Chemist Warehouse.
Wow, things are really hotting up out there, Mark. Oh, better set the temperature at home to be nice and cool when I get in. Ah, that's a smart play indeed. Oh, thanks. The new Anywhere Technology Ducted Controller is so smart, it lets you control your air conditioner with your smartphone from anywhere. The scoreboard says it all, really. And Fujitsu has been awarded the most trusted air conditioning brand three years running. What a hat-trick! Whole home comfort just got smarter. Just get a Fujitsu. It's Australia's favourite air. This weather report is brought to you by Fujitsu, Australia's favourite air. Making news tonight, a health alert has been issued for several southeast locations visited by a Sydney Northern Beaches woman while infected with COVID. And police are treating the murders of an elderly Parkinson couple as an act of terror. The alleged murderer was shot by police during a confrontation on the Logan motorway yesterday morning. There's now a new way Queenslanders can enjoy a cold brew on tap, but it's not at a pub. It's milk, fresh from the Sunshine Coast, ready for sale in a Brisbane grocery store. If it's good to drink, you can usually get it on tap. We all love water and, of course, something more golden to quench the thirst. But now there's another favourite pouring at this local, milk on tap. An Australian first bringing the dairy delight from the Sunshine Coast straight to a bottle in Brisbane. It's a first for us to uh, have milk on tap for the public to buy. It's a partnership of family-owned businesses Mullaney Dairies and Harris Farm Markets. They can take home fresh milk in a glass bottle which tastes a lot uh, nicer. The initiative removes any middleman making a better deal for customers and importantly producers. Things are gradually moving forward. And, yeah, that's what it's about, eh? Shoppers can bring their bottles back to refill or recycle and early demand says the product is a winner. Absolutely fantastic. Um, and obviously it's only been a few days now. Harris Farm Markets have plans to open more stores, milking this idea for all it's worth. Dante Check on 7 News. The next entrant in the 4KQ Christmas Lights People's Choice Award is Brad Dockray's home in Warner. His creation features more than one kilometre of lights on his roof. It took Brad and a team of friends five weeks to set up. He hopes to spread festive cheer with the community after a tough 2020. You can vote for your favourite display by going to 4kq.com.au. Weather now, here's Paul Burt. Hey, thanks for that, Joel. Hello, everybody. What a fantastic end of the working week. We've had an absolute rainfall this whole week. We can pretty much say goodbye for a little while now as we set for a pretty good weekend. Let's take a look at today's temperatures. Gee, it got quite muggy there. Humidity up towards 95% in most areas, obviously, from the recent rain. And then hot days today. Tops of 33 for Ipswich, 29 coastal and 29 also for Logan, 31 in the city. We'll take a look at the charts now. You can see that low deepening up there around Darwin, dropping a lot of rain, a lot of storm activity also in that region. We do have a trough system moving across our region. That'll deliver some storm activity for the western ranges at the moment. We do have some storm warnings for the northern gold fields at the moment as well. Uh, we're going to see a little bit of uh, Roma getting upwards of around 60k an hour winds over the past hour. Cold front to the south, that'll trigger some storm activity around our border ranges and western ranges tomorrow afternoon. And we're going to see that trough system also bringing some showers and storms to the southern major. So I'll have a look around the country now. Tops are 23 for Sydney, 24 for Canberra. A colder start from Melbourne, 11 to 20. Clear skies for Adelaide and 25. Back to the tropics now. Plenty of sunshine in Cairns and Townsville. Highs of 34. Mackay, 23 to 33. Similar for Rockhampton, 24 to 35 degrees. A couple of showers moving in and storm activity, mainly around the uh, Roma after a hot day of 38 and also Toowoomba. 21 to 30 degrees. Back home, though, a beautiful day on the Sunshine Coast. Good evening to everybody up there at Maroochydore, stretching all the way up to Noosa. Absolutely gorgeous. 21 to 30. 21 to 31. Beer Borough might see a shower on the Gold Coast. More so storms in the western areas around Bow Desert, uh, getting up to around 32 degrees and 31 for those at Logan. Bodies nor nor easterly winds at 10 to 20 knots, season meter in the city. 31 degrees the high. A gorgeous start to the weekend ahead. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, looking pretty good. 31 to 33 the high. Similar for Ipswich, 34 degrees on Sunday, 33 Monday and Tuesday. Gold Coast, couple of showers Sunday, more so coastal. 29, 29 also Monday. Sunshine Coast looking gorgeous for at least next Thursday. And at this stage here, Joel, looks as though we might see a shower on Christmas. More details tomorrow.
for the surface tomorrow. The Sunshine Coast, a place to be with more sunshine about up there than the Gold Coast. Still expecting a few showers. A lot of debris pushing out of all creeks and rivers, pushing it up onto the beaches. Not the best of conditions, I can assure you. That swell's coming in from the east at around 10 second intervals at about a metre, maybe a metre point four. Now, if you're heading out there for a fish, of course, the Gold Coast region, be careful of driving through the creeks heading out to sea. We're going to see northerly winds, fairly light for the next couple of days, but still, there's going to be a lot of debris. It's not good for that on your skeg of your engine. And, of course, there's been some nice catches of fish. Marlin are here. Have a look at that. Thank you, Sea Probe Charters. Boys getting some good catches there before the weather turned foul on the local 24 and 36s. And back inshore, been some nice eyes whiting around. The lower reach is the place to be. Upper reaches, forget it, unless you love catfish. And that's all from us this Friday. Thanks for your company. From all the team, have a good night.